I'm Rich. I'm Sam Four. I'm Channel Seven. I'm David Channel Nine. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. We appreciate it. Um, all right, real quick. Uh, could I actually take a baby step this way? Are you That's perfect. That's, I actually need that too. Thank you. We're going to hear gongs here in a minute. You probably want to wait. <laughs> yeah, I might as well just wait it. I'm getting the No, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Uh, I'm getting a lot of sun glare. I am. I kind of am too, yeah. So, can we actually slide this way? One more step. That's great. And I'll come cool. down this way. And then... Do you want me to slide down more? Or if you could, could you do that for me, yeah. and then I could, yeah, I'll just go where you are. And if that's bothering you, I'll go figure it out. Thanks. That's better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and if you could look at Sam, that would be great. I'm Sam. <laughs> All the way in the back. Okay. Yep. I'm good. Most basic information. Um, where are you from? How long have you been here? How long have you been a police officer? And kind of what your usual detail is for you today? Um, name's uh, Daniel Hodges. I've been here for uh, over six years. So what, when the call came out for help, where were you and how quickly, or like how did you end up at the Capitol? Oh, my platoon had been on uh, duty since 7.30 that morning. So when the call came out, we had already been on our feet for about five hours or so. Um, I don't remember exactly what time it came out. I forgot to look at my watch. <laughs> but um, we were we were um, assigned to 11th and Constitution as on high visibility posts. So uh, when the call came out, we uh, we got to our transport and we put on our pads as quickly as we could and we got over there as quickly as we could. I'm sorry for the cameras. You look. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, were you guys? The, were you the ones that took over the metro bus? No, that wasn't us. <laughs> okay. Sorry, that one was that was kind of interesting. All right, so you get to the Capitol. What's the scene like? Uh, where you where you guys end up? Uh, it was chaotic. Uh, by the time we got there, the um, we got we got to the west side, and the uh, the Capitol had already been surrounded on the west side. So we actually had to fight our way through the crowd in order to join the defense proper on the dais, where uh, officers were already holding the line. Um, we uh, when we were marching up through the crowd, they were all shouting at us, calling us traitors. Um, telling us to remember our oaths, uh, stuff like that. Eventually they attacked us on our way up, so uh, our platoon got split up. When you say attack, what did, what did it involve? Uh, fists, trying to steal our equipment, pushing, hitting, kicking, that kind of thing. Uh, also, well, someone on a high upper level from where I was threw down something huge and metal and hit me in the head and some other officers. Thankfully, I had my helmet on, so um, did not disable me. However, it uh, might have resulted in a concussion. <laughs> um, and when we uh, when they attacked, I was um, the medical mask I was wearing at that time got pulled up over my eyes, and I got knocked to the ground. So they uh, at that point, I think they surrounded me and started uh, beating me. At, at that point, fortunately, a, a colleague of mine, Officer Chasen, was able to uh, get me back on my feet. So it didn't uh, didn't. Again, that part didn't disable me either, and we were able to push forward to the uh, defense proper on the days. What were you thinking as they were beating you? Like, uh, are you think what's going through your mind as this is happening to yourself? Uh, this that was one of the uh, three times that day where I thought, well, this might be it. You know, I might uh, this might be the end for me. <laughs> so there's the one. You were the officer who was at the door that ended up getting stampeded over, right? I was not. That was the one that was crushed in the door. That crushed in the door, exactly. Yeah. How did that end up happening? So you're, you're at a door trying to stop people, or, and did they just yes. kind of overtake you? And that was that. Yeah. Um, so after the, the, our defenses on the day is broke, we uh, we were battling, you know, tooth and nail for our lives. We ended up falling back to uh, hardened choke points in the building, like the tunnel there, where you know their numbers didn't mean quite so much. And um, so I went inside, put on my mask, and. Um, got down to the tunnel where they were throwing CS gas at us or either they were throwing ours back at us, I don't know. But uh, since I had my mask on, the other officers who didn't retreated and I pushed forward to the defense. And uh, we held the line there in that doorway. Um, just, I guess I got pinned through the small back and forth we had fighting for, uh, you know, every inch. And um, I had my arms pinned at that point. I wasn't able to defend myself. The, uh, yeah, I think you see someone in the video who um, 
rips my mask off, my gas mask. He's also able to rip away my baton, uh, beat me with it. And um, at that point, I was also, you know, sucking in OC and CS gas. So uh, I was pretty disabled at that point. Do you, do you think you were going to die? I mean, I don't know. What were your thoughts at that moment? That was, um, that was another time that day where I thought, you know, yeah, I die and uh, there's nothing I can do to defend myself at this point. So I just started screaming top of my lungs for them to give me a way out, give me a, a line or a treat. Thankfully, someone was able to do that and I was able to extricate myself. So you said the second time, there was another time? Yeah, the first time was uh, when I was surrounded and beaten outside. Um, the second time was when uh, our lines broke on the dais and they overwhelmed our uh, our police line, the fighting broke out proper. One of the, um, one of my assailants was able to get his thumb in my right eye and started gouging at it. So I thought I might have been, um, might have been disfigured at that point. Thankfully, I was able to get him off without any uh, permanent damage being done. So obviously, you guys prepare for lots of things. You're trained for lots of things. But... Yeah, I mean, I, I follow the news. I, I was extremely concerned about um, what I was reading, the uh, threats people were making, but I also know that, um, I know that this isn't our first rodeo. You know, we, uh, we handle the First Amendment demonstrations all, this, all the time. Obviously, I don't think anyone, anyone who should have known expected it to get to this point, otherwise it wouldn't have gotten to that point. Um, but, um, I also knew at the time when I was defending the Capitol that, you know, obviously this has got to be, I was thinking this has got to be the biggest news story in the world right now. And, you know, some of the most powerful people in the world are inside that building. So there's got to be backup coming. I just got to hold out as long as I can. Well, obviously a lot of people have seen that image of you crushed in the door. Among them, I understand a little girl named Emma. Did you, I think she wrote you. Do you know about that? Yeah. I. Uh, I had the opportunity to give a surprise video conference with Emma on NBC4 with Pat Collins, and she was a real sweetheart. You know, she um, I was I was really touched that she thought to write a letter to me, and I was so happy to read it and just and uh, let her know that I was doing okay. And I think it meant a lot to everyone, all the officers who fought that day. So it was she was she was just a real sweetheart, and I was glad to be able to talk to her. So of all the people that were there that day, all the things that happened. Lots of them who aren't from D.C. and are probably not going to come back anytime soon. What do you want them to know about you and also the, you know, the Metropolitan Police Department, about the district, that they didn't know coming into this? Do you think it's a gift? What do you want them to know? What do I want the uh, the insurrectionists to know or everyone yeah. else? I mean, just the people that were there and like when they were doing these things to you, like, yeah. Oh, just that we're not on your side. We're here to defend the law and we're here to... Um, defend the people so if you come back it's going to be even worse um we're in word we're not your i had people shouting at me are you my brother are you my brother i um i've also served in the national guard and i had veteran or alleged veterans telling me they they fought for this country we wouldn't hurt you um i had conspiracy theorists and just everyone you could think of yelling at me saying you know why why are you doing this you're the traitor you know, we're, we're not the traitors. We're the ones who saved Congress that day, and we'll do it as many times as necessary. So they thought you were supposed to be, quote, on their side? Absolutely. Yeah, I think the, it's, hard to, it's hard to say exactly what they thought because just the cognitive dissonance on display and their zealotry was unreal. But they absolutely, some of them definitely thought that they would just walk right up and say, we're here to arrest Congress, and then the police would say, all right, let's go, and we'd all walk in hands in hands and just do whatever they wanted. But uh, that wasn't the case, and it will never be the case. Injury-wise, how are you feeling uh, a week a week later? Um, anything different, like body-wise, how how's health-wise? How uh, I am extremely fortunate. I, my, uh, my x-rays were negative for fractures, and uh, CT scan didn't detect any internal bleeding. So um, I think I'm, I'm pretty much all better. Are, are you off duty now or for a week yeah, a little yeah, bit? I'm, um, I'm still out sick, but I, I should be back to full duty in a few days. Hmm. And then so just you, how, how long did you spend in the hospital? I was not in the hospital, actually. I, uh, I went to the clinic the next day and, you know, I was, I was walking like a 90-year-old man for a week, but uh, 
other than that, um, I, my busted lip healed. Um, my headache went away eventually, so you know, I didn't have any memory loss or any other um, any other symptoms of a concussion. Um, my every, all the other all the other injuries healed up, so I'm I'm extremely grateful for how fortunate I was. How about like for me? Give give us some assessment of how you feel about how how this went, how you all did as a group. I'm extremely proud of all the officers who were uh, out there fighting that day. You know, not all the officers were as fortunate as I was in terms of injuries. My uh, my sergeant, Sergeant Peak, actually um, got his finger broken right off the jump when we got to the defense. He had bone sticking out of his finger, but he slapped a napkin on there and some duct tape and went back to work for four hours. And so he's a legend. <laughs> How about but, just, um, like mental health morale? I mean, obviously, like physically, it's you know you can be on the mend. How do you feel with going back to work after all this? Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's hard to go through something like that and say it doesn't affect you. There's, um, I'm obviously it's something I'm gonna be thinking about for the rest of my life. But I think myself, speaking for myself, I've I've got um, the discipline and the resiliency to keep coming back and just in general it was it was a it was an honor and a privilege to be able to be there and shut down those people that day so i'm looking forward to well not looking forward to it i am willing and able to do it as many times as i needed and then quickly where are you from i was born and raised in north carolina winston-salem winston-salem and how old are you right now i'm 32. cool and live in the district maryland or virginia i live in maryland and your rank officer officer Thank you so much. Right, Thank, you. You. Thank you very much. One last thing, let me just quickly. Just, I don't have a fan. <laughs> 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 Got to ask you. Can I get a quick picture of you? Sure. Thank you. All right. Put that on.